Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Shabir Safi and in this video on Istio Service Mesh, we'll learn how to install Istio Gateway on our local Kubernetes Kind cluster. We'll also take a look at Kiali, which is a tool for monitoring your microservices traffic within Istio Service Mesh. So let's get to it. Let's first talk about Kubernetes Ingress Controller and how it works. Let's say we have a couple of microservices deployed and we have an external load balancer like an AWS ELB that sits in front of our cluster to direct the external traffic to our cluster. One of the main components of Ingress is the Ingress controller. It acts as an entry point for incoming traffic to our cluster. Think of it as a bouncer at a nightclub that decides who gets in and who doesn't. There are various options available like Nginx, Traffic, or HAProxy. The next component is Ingress resource that contains the rule to define how incoming traffic should be routed. And Ingress controller uses these rules defined in the Ingress resource to route incoming traffic to different services within the cluster. When a request comes in, the Ingress controller checks the Ingress resource for a matching rule. And if found, it routes the traffic to the appropriate service. Therefore, Ingress controller is a vital component of a Kubernetes cluster that provides a way to manage incoming traffic to your cluster. It simplifies the management of routing rules and provides advanced management features as well. Now let's go over how the Istio gateway works and compare its components with those of Kubernetes Ingress controller. Let's say in this example, we have deployed our microservices and we have already deployed our service mesh, which we have talked about in our previous video. We have an external load balancer, just like the previous example. And the first component is the gateway controller, which is kind of similar to the ingress controller in Kubernetes. And it provides the access to the service mesh from external clients. The next component we create is the gateway object. Using this gateway object, we configure the gateway controller to listen on certain ports for various destination URLs. But it does not control where the traffic is routed. That's where the virtual service object comes into play. It is the job of virtual services to define how traffic should be routed within the service mesh. So the gateway object and virtual services combine to provide the holistic traffic routing. So when a request comes in, if gateway is configured to listen to the right port number for the destination URL, it will use virtual service for a matching rule and route the traffic to the appropriate service within the service mesh. Now let's jump into the demo and see these things in action. All right, guys, so we are going to create a kind cluster and then we'll install the Istio components. You can find the link to the GitHub repo in the description box below. Under the service mesh gateway directory, you can find this script to create the cluster. We are using a config file to set up the kind cluster specifically to support Istio gateway. So let's take a look at that. We are pinning the port 80, 443, and 15 or 21 onto specific ports in the Kubernetes node port range. These port numbers are used by Istio Gateway, that's why we are pinning them. Don't worry about it too much, it is something we have to do to run Istio Gateway on Kind Cluster, and our focus is to learn Istio Gateway. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our cluster. If you want to create a kind cluster with Ingress controller, uh, there's another create cluster script in the root directory, which deploys the Ingress controller. So once the cluster is ready, let's go ahead and deploy our service mesh. Next, we are going to install the Istio gateway using Helm in the Istio system namespace.
Okay, let's check our services and pods. We can see that we have Istio Gateway pod ready and notice that we also have Istio Gateway service which is of type load balancer. By default, Ingress Gateway uses the load balancer type service which does not work on kind. So to get around that, we are going to patch the service type to node port to expose the ingress gateway on the local host interface. And we are using these node port values here. And if we look back at our kind cluster config file, we are using the same node ports there as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply this patch. Let's check our service again. And we can see that it has changed the service type and has the right port numbers. Great. So now let's deploy a couple of test services in our service mesh, which we will try to access from outside the cluster. Now, as we discussed earlier, to make these services routable for external clients, we need to configure our gateway and routing rules. This gateway object will tell Ingress Gateway to listen on port 80 for any destination URL. Next, we have the virtual service defined. The gateways field defines which gateway will be used for the traffic, and the gateway object we looked before is named Istio Gateway. The next section, we define the HTTP rules that determines which service the traffic will be routed to. Here the host part can be a little misleading. Here the host is the name of your Kubernetes service that is exposing your pods. So don't get confused. Let's also compare virtual service with ingress resource side by side. And you can see that they look very similar in terms of how they configure the routing, the destination, and port numbers. Okay, so let's go ahead and create these objects in the same namespace where we have deployed our services. And let's check if they are successfully deployed. Great. Now at this point, our setup for Istio is complete. We should be able to access our services from the browser now. So let's test it. From our browser, let's go to 127.0.0.1 forward slash app A to reach service A and forward slash app B to reach service B. And there we go. We have Istio Gateway routing traffic to our services in the cluster. All right, so the last thing I wanted to show you guys is how you can monitor the health of your Istio service mesh and monitor the traffic flowing through your Istio. Um, for that, we are going to install a tool called Kiali. But uh, before we do that, we need to install our monitoring stack, which uh, deploys Prometheus. Kiali requires Prometheus to generate the topology graph to calculate the health of your service mesh and other stuff as well. All right, so after installing our monitoring stack, we are going to install Kiali using Helm. Here we are setting a couple of values. Um, we are setting auth strategy to anonymous, so we don't need to sign in to Kiali dashboard every time. And the next is Prometheus URL. When we deployed our monitoring stack, it deployed Prometheus server in monitoring namespace. So we are providing the FQDN for the Prometheus service. So let's go ahead and install it. Let's check our pods and services. And to access Kiali dashboard, we are going to use port forward. Um, so let's use a local host, a local port 8080. 
uh, let's open our browser and go to 127.0.0.1 forward slash Kiali and we should be able to see the dashboard. Okay, so here you can see your workloads and um, services that you have deployed to your service mesh. And um, if you go and check out the graph section, At the moment, there is nothing here. So let's make some requests to our services. So first, let's try to access our services from our browser, which would go through our gateway. And uh, let's also curl service B from service A to mimic a pod to pod communication within our service mesh. All right, that should be good enough. Okay, so now if we go back to our dashboard, um, we can see these graphs that shows how the traffic is flowing through our service mesh. So you can use Kiali to monitor and visualize the traffic in your service mesh, um, as well as the health of your services as well. All right, guys, so that's it for today. Uh, we have only scratched the surface of the capabilities of Istio. And there is so much more advanced stuff uh, we can do using Service Mesh. So let me know if you guys would like to see more of these uh, tutorials on Service Mesh on Kubernetes. And as always, if you enjoyed this video or learned something new, leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.